happily ever after. The end. Alright Spike, that's the last story for tonight. It's time we say our prayers and go to bed. Please mommy, just one more story. Spike, that was just one more story. My sweet love, it's time to go to bed. But first, we must say our prayers. Why do we have to pray, Mom? Prayer is how we keep connected to God. What exactly is prayer, though? Prayer can be a request we make of God, but more importantly, it's how we have a spiritual relationship with God. When we pray, we grow closer to the Lord and build our connection to Him. Oh, okay. So we should pray every night before we go to bed? Yes, we can. It's important to pray to God regularly, but it doesn't have to be a set time. When we pray to God, it's like talking to our friend. You don't have a set time to talk to your friends. You talk to them when you feel like it. That's true. Kason and I talk and play with each other whenever we can. Exactly. The more time you spend with Kason, the more your friendship grows. It's the same thing with the Lord. The more time you spend with Him in prayer, the stronger your relationship with Him becomes. Thank you, Mommy. Now I know why I should pray. But I still have another question. Go ahead, Spike. What exactly should I be praying for? That's a great question, but there really isn't a simple answer. God is our friend, and we can talk to Him about anything. We can thank Him for everything He has done for us. We can pray for the people in our lives. And we can pray for the things we want for ourselves. You mean I can pray for that toy truck I've been wanting? Yes, you can pray for anything you want. The most important thing to remember is, when we pray, we are getting closer to God by spending time with Him. When we spend time with Him, he brings us closer to Him. I understand now. Prayer brings us to God, and we become friends. That's pretty much the gist of things. So, is there anything you want to pray for? Yes, Mommy. I want to pray for so many things. This might take a while, though. It might even take the entire night. Well, Spike, how about we pray for three things? because it's your bedtime and you have to get to sleep, my dear. Oh, I have so many things to pray for. I thought I would stay up all night praying. I'm sure you would love that. You can pray more in the morning or whenever you like, but you do have to get some rest. Okay, you can start your prayer now, Spike. Okay, here I go. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for my family, Lord. Please keep them safe and healthy. Also, thank you for my friends. And I'm so glad that you too are my friend. I can't wait for us to become even better friends. God, I also pray that I will get the toy truck I want. Only if you think I've been good enough. And one last thing, Lord. Please just let me be good enough and do the right things to get the truck. I love you, Lord. Amen. That was a beautiful prayer, Spike. I'm so proud of you. Sleep well, my love. Good night, and I love you. Good night, Mommy, and I love you too. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 through 18. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. John chapter 15 verse 7. Hey there, children of the Lord, it's Narika, and I've got some questions for you about today's episode. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Question number one, what is prayer? Two, when should you pray? 
Three, why is it important to pray? Four, who are you talking to when you pray? Five, what is one thing that you want to pray for? Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I thoroughly enjoyed doing this episode for you all, and I can't wait to do another one for you soon. Goodbye and blessings.